This is a video on how to create and drive an Excel workbook document from a template in DriveWorks Pro. This document type is used to export data directly into a sheet in a Microsoft Excel workbook from a DriveWorks project specification. To work effectively, the sheet to export the data should contain named cells. DriveWorks will recognize the named cells and allow rules to be built up for the values to export. With DriveWorks Pro open, and a group and a project already open, go to the Documents task from the Task Explorer. Click on Add from the command bar to open up the Create Documents dialog box. Select the Excel workbook document from the list of documents and then give it a name. Click on Next and then identify the Excel workbook that you want to drive within your DriveWorks project by clicking on Browse and locating the file within your File Explorer. Select the file and then hit Finish. Click on OK from the command bar to accept this document. Now open up the Master Excel workbook document and click on the cell that you would like to drive information into from your DriveWorks project. These will be the named ranges. Now rename the cell by activating the Formulas tab and opening the Define Name dialog or by changing the name in the name box before pressing Enter. In this example, I would like the first cell to return the value from the existing customer name so I will give that a named range of existing customer name. On the second cell, I would like to return the order number, so I will give that a named range of order number, and the last one I will name handle type. Save and close the workbook. Now with the Excel workbook document selected, click on to edit from the command bar and go into the named ranges area. You will see that the named ranges that we created within the Excel workbook have been brought through into this area within DriveWorks and allow us to create rules within each. Let's start to link these named ranges to the results from the form controls on the DriveWorks forms. Select existing customer name and then click on to build. Within the rules builder window capture explorer, search for the form control existing customer name by typing it into the filter box and selecting this form control for the result of the rule by double clicking on it. You will notice under the values column, it is resulting on whatever name is currently selected within the form control. Select OK to accept this. Under handle type, follow a similar procedure and link the named range to the handle type return and then link the order number to the order number return. Click on OK to accept these. Now let's run a specification through and see the named ranges being populated according to what has been entered into the form controls. Go to the Specification Explorer task and click on New and select the Toolbox project and then click on OK. Fill out the form controls to create a new toolbox design. and then click on release. Your generated specification will get added to the top of your list of completed specifications within the Specification Explorer task. Select this and on the right under the document list, the Excel workbook has been added to the list. Open this up by double clicking onto it and you will notice that the form controls, existing customer name, order number and handle type, have populated the name ranges within the Excel document according to what was entered into the form when we generated the toolbox specification. For more information, click on the help button anytime whilst using DriveWorks Pro or visit the online help file which can be found at docs.driveworkspro.com.